Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans, welcome back to another 12 by 12 video. This lovely, bright bunny love, I've titled it. Uh, and it's one that's kind of happened a little bit by accident um, because my cut file didn't go the way that I had planned. So I did the cut file, which you can see kind of, I guess, the silhouette of it here. Um, I cut it and it really... It sort of cut the innards of it, but it really sort of cut it a little bit too much. Um, I obviously didn't have the right setting. I'm still not real great with the, the cut settings on it. And yeah, anyway, so instead of going to waste because I had a plan for my layout and I'm one of these people that when I have a plan, it's really hard for me to alter the, the plan. I thought, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. So I grabbed some white cardstock uh, and some yellow dilutions paint and I thought I'm gonna just do what I'm doing right here and get a makeup sponge and just dab the paint around the outside around the edge um, and voila I got this print so again I still wasn't sure if that's what I wanted so I decided to dab some just lightly uh, yeah the yellow paint on the inside as you can see doing here so I don't have a lot of paint on my makeup sponge um, these makeup sponges are I got a pack I think it's like got 18 or something in it for like two bucks three bucks from my local Kmart here in Australia um, so I'm just giving it a try They're the first time I've used makeup sponges so um, I usually use the ink dobber things from like Tim Holtz or the knockoff version of those that I've got at craft fairs but I don't have a lot so I'm trying to sort of salvage them and just use them for my distress oxide ink pads at the moment um, but yeah so and I didn't mind the look that I got from them so I don't have a lot of paint as I said you can see that I'm using uh, sort of dipping dipping the sponge in the paint and sort of just um, smooshing it on my mat paint mat next to me and I'm happy with that look that um, that effect that it's given so then I get a black pen uh, it dried really quickly outlined it with the black pen and then using the image from the cut file so I still had it up on my computer screen I basically just drew in the features of the bunny rabbit uh, so the photo you can see there is a couple of images that I collaged using pic collage of uh, one of our rabbits uh, playing around on my stepdaughter's bed one night uh, she had him up in her room uh, it was really cute so yeah just to go in her album and I thought I was pretty happy actually with the way that I sort of drew in these features and it was really it's kind of different I've never done something like this before I've never used sort of the the silhouette of a cut file or anything really and then drawn in the features I've seen is it Lisa Fon Fon Fonesca Fonseca or something on um, I love the way she does that sort of imaging on her layouts and she draws in these most gorgeous pictures or she'll stitch on them and she paints on them or cuts them out and it's just so inspiring but I cannot do the same thing I don't have the faith in myself to do the same thing so anyway this is good as good as it gets I guess so then I decided that I would cut out my photos and keep instead of keeping them as one block um, collage uh, and a method to my madness, I ended up grabbing a heap of my 6x6 paper pads to stick to sort of the colours that were in my photo. So the bright yellow, there's a pinks and then the brown of my rabbit. Um, and I knew that I was going to keep them fairly similar to those colours. Uh, so I decided that I would mat each of the photos with a bit of a border um, with those papers. Um, I think in my head the plan was a bit of stash busting. I'm trying to use up bits and pieces that I'm not use, usually using. Of late I've been using, when I do scrap, I've been using some really popular collections. Like I've been using the Crate Paper or Heart Collection or the Whimsical One uh, Collection by Paige Evans. Those sorts of things are all like Coco Vanilla or Flutter by Designs. And I wanted to go for some things that I'm not regularly using I just thought I don't know why it's not because I've I've been inspired by anyone in particular it might be because I'm going through and I'm just kind of doing a color of my house at the moment <laughs> I don't know 
but that's what's going on. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, this is the second video that you'll see where I'm doing a bit of dash busting. And that's and again, you can see I'm reaching for like this box here is a whole heap of my ephemera that sits on my trolley. That's my spotlight knockoff Rascog. Um, it looks exactly like a Rascog, except it's in my favorite color, rose gold. And yeah, so yeah, it's great. I got it from Spotlight. It's their recollections, I think range i think it was great uh instead of 69 dollars that you get at ikea it's 49 dollars, so it was great um anyway so yeah and then my little tub of other random embellishments that i can't bother to put away i just chuck in that little ikea tub and yeah that's the others so yeah so random tangent there but that's what i'm doing here so that's what and i cut, also punched out some hearts using that bunny uh six by six paper because you know I had it there it's got rabbits on it and this is a rabbit layout so I mean perfect and I decided also when I split the pay photos up having them off-centered like this going down that right hand side of the page kind of um, balances counterbalances having that really large focal image of the rabbit on the other on the left hand side of the page I thought um, instead of having that, like having them all together, photos all together in that collage shape thing as well. And then I'm just going to pop my embellishments in and around. I didn't put too many on this layout. I didn't need it because, again, you've got that, I've got that really big bunny uh, as a really big focal image. So it doesn't need lots of embellishments cluttering up the page, I thought. Uh, the white background as well just gives it that starkness that just doesn't need lots of embellishments going around I, I felt anyway which is unusual sometimes for me because once upon a time my style was lots of embellishing but I really loved the way this layout ended up turning out at first I didn't know how I'd feel about having the bunny there um, maybe my lack of confidence in the way I draw or um, it's something very new. I would never have done this before. Um, so I don't know, but it turned out really well. I was really happy with it. And my girls thought it was really cute. So winning. So I just tuck little tiny embellishments in and around the, the photos you'll see here. Uh, nothing too big, nothing too bold, just little bits. So I'm on a side note, super excited. My finally, if you've been following a couple of my latest videos, um, which I'm finally getting some videos up and running again, um, I ordered an ATG, which if you're not familiar with what that is, it's the Advanced Tape Glider from Scotch. I finally caved after like two years of like tossing and turning over whether or not to get one um, and got one in scrapbook.com's latest sales Um and got one and it arrived today I'm so excited um, and I set it up this morning I think I set it up properly following the instructions um, so today is actually my I have an RDO from work every Tuesday but I have to go into work this afternoon unfortunately so it's sitting here looking at me going please play with me well I think it is um, but I have to get ready to go into work shortly after a busy morning at home um, Oh, I can't wait. So I'm hoping I might get some scrapping done later tonight when I get back. Um, yes. So fingers crossed I actually set it up properly the first time. I know how much trouble everyone has said they have or I watch other scrappers, hence why I have not got one because I thought my patience and the money that they're usually worth just no, don't mix. But fingers crossed, peeps. So I plan to maybe try and film another video tonight. Um, so you may see me use it and uh, get cranky with it or use it and it'll go really well. You never know. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yes, so anyway, so as you can see, I am just, as I said, tucking tiny little pieces here, there and everywhere in and around, just little floral pieces. I just, um, I thought even though there's not really florals in the photos, they're matching the colours and they're just adding a certain softness to this layout. It is, uh, whilst it's of the bunnies, 
um, it is going, as I said, into my stepdaughter's um, album. So it's, I guess, a bit girly, uh, which is nice. And I debated whether or not to add this here, so and then I just went, nah, I'm going to put it there, this flower and and whatnot. I just thought it looked pretty. And it gave a little bit of something extra to the rabbit um, painting picture. Now what am I up to? I did have a little bit of trouble not knowing what to put on here um, because I don't have a lot of actual rabbit style embellishments. Uh, but yeah, I got there. More bits and bobs again, as I said, more stash busting. Uh, my title is these Coco Vanilla Studio um, Alphas. And they were perfect. They were a nice pastel uh, of the pink and some green. Uh, and I think a yellow, a really soft yellowy colour, I, I think. Oh, did I add some enamel dots? I can't remember. Or sequins or something? I do, no, I guess we'll see. No, I add some splatters here, and this is a rose gold shimmer from Kaiser Craft in their sprays. Um, I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether or not I like this. I don't know how if I like how dark it is compared to the gold, but I do like to change up not always using a gold uh, shimmer spray, it's like splatters on my layer, so I, I try and be a little different. Oh, no, I didn't put it on. I'm sure I put this on. I do add some stamping, the date stamp here, with some blue ink instead of the usual black. Again, trying to change it up a little bit. And I do some ghost stamping here with my roller date stamp. I think this is a Project Life stamp. Had to clean it off because it wasn't working properly. It's a bit annoying actually. I hate when stamps do that. I don't always I don't stamp enough. Does anyone else find that you have a big a big stash of stamps? Like I'm looking at them right now and I'm like, I need to use you more. And I really don't. I'm actually going to try and find a better way to organize my stamps so I use them more often, whether that be on my desk in front of me or something. I'm just I don't know. Anyone else? Anyone else in the Stamping Anonymous need to use more problem, yeah, group? I uh, do. See, so I use this rose gold. I'll show you in the pictures. Um, what do you think? I don't know if I like it or not. I mean, in two minds, it's something different compared to the gold. It's not as bright, so it adds a different contrast. But mm, I just don't know. The light here doesn't catch it very well, I don't think. But that is my layout complete. Something a little bit simple. Um, but yeah, it's something different with that big bunny on the side that I sort of painted and drew on. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like it. Um, and then hopefully will be another video following this over the weekend. So stay, stay tuned. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will, yeah, see you soon. Bye guys.